each person has a different guilty pleasure. Most of us eats candies. Whether it's a sweet chocolate bar or a sour little gummy, we've all got our favorites. As much as we love candy, we can all agree that it's not a healthy thing for us to eat. But just how bad can it be? These sweet indulgences could put you on a sugar high but could also put you six feet under. You're about to find out banned candies that can kill you. Number 10. Hippie Sippy The 1960s are notorious for being a little experimental. In 1968, Hippie Sippy was created by the Japanese and it was a living proof that just about anything could make it into the market back in the 60s. The candy was a plastic toy filled with multicolored pellets. Seems normal, right? But to get to the chocolate, you need to suck on a hypodermic-like needle, which is often associated with drug use. Added to that is the colorful chocolate balls were meant to represent uppers and downers. This candy was literally designed to replicate the hippie culture. It's easy to see how hippie sippies wasn't able to capture parents' hearts. Encouraging kids to even pretend to take illicit substances isn't good for anybody. And to top all of that, a button was attached to the thin tip, branded with sayings like, I'll try anything and we sell happiness. This product definitely was sending the wrong message to kids. Needless to say, these experimental candies didn't last very long on the shelves and they were pulled only after a year. If you're curious though, you can find some on eBay, but it doesn't come for a cheap price. Number 9. Toxic Waste Chew Bar Okay, its name itself tells that it isn't good for you. Would you really give your children a candy called Toxic Waste? But then again, is any candy ever really safe? The Toxic Waste Chew Bar was a product from Pakistan and took a fame for having an extreme and unmatched sourness and apparently its ability to kill you. The Nuclear Sludge variety was launched back in 2007 but was discontinued in 2011 after some health concerns were raised. The Food and Drugs deemed it to be unsafe to eat and recommended that the Nuclear Sludge Bar not to be consumed anymore. Was it really surprising though? The packaging of the candy was a bright yellow cushion-like tape and the company's website featured the screech of a blaring warning horn. After conducting a lot of tests, a significant level of lead was found in the bars, almost three times the accepted lead levels. Though there were no reports of people getting sick from consuming the candy, the food and drugs said that the elevated lead content could potentially be harmful to small children infants and pregnant women. So, in a case of better safe than sorry, it was pulled and banned from the United States. Number 8. Haribo Sugar-Free Gummy Bears No doubt that Haribo makes some of the best gummy bears on the market. Its unique and flavorful product are sweet and chewy that people really love. However, the company has known few failures over the years. Like the time they tried to make their sugar-free gummy bears. It was their noble goal to cut out the sugar, but the execution was the worst thing possible they could ever have done. You see, in 2014, the sugar-free gummy bears gathered quite a bit of attention when people started to notice some undesirable side effects after the consumption of the candy. Why is that? Haribo replaced the sugar in their gummy bears with lycosine. Lycosine is a substance almost as sweet as sugar, known as sugar alcohol, and contains half the calories. As much as it seems like the perfect substitute, it wasn't. Since our bodies can't fully digest it, it can create some very unpleasant reactions. And the worst, if consumed in large quantities, lycosine can start to ferment in our stomachs. People who bought from Amazon was quick to add their reviews online and share their experience. Some reviews called the sugar-free gummies an intestinal power wash, death in a bag, and a gummy bear assault. For what it's worth, Haribo included a warning on the package. But after the stories went viral, they decided to put a stop on their production. Probably the best call for their part. Number 7. Candy Cigarettes This again doesn't need that much explanation as to why it was deemed to be a potential killer. As the name suggests, candy cigarettes were candy made to resemble packs of cigarettes and were made of either chalky sugar 
bubblegum, or chocolate. They were wrapped and packaged like cigarettes and was even branded as the real ones. Some even had powdered sugar at the tip, so when you blow through the candy stick, a smoke-like figure will come out. You can probably already see the problem with this. They first began being sold in the late 1900s, and cigarette manufacturers even helped with the production of the candy. This candy was a perfect way for kids to mirror what adults were doing with cigarettes. Obviously, today, candy cigarettes are seen as a way to desensitize children to the idea of smoking, but it took a while for us to reach that conclusion. Some studies have shown that the percentage of smokers who had candy cigarettes as a child was higher than those who didn't smoke. So, the link between smoking and candy has been made and scientifically proven. It might seem like a fun and innocent candy, but in the long run, it's probably killed more people than any other candy out there. Would you really let your kids have this candy? Number 6. Milky Way This tasty chocolate bar is so good that it could send you to other dimensions. They say that life is better in the Milky Way, but is it healthier? I don't think so. It's probably one of the worst chocolate bars you could ever eat to be honest. Though it's not the bars that could cause us a lot of damage, there is this particular one we tend to underestimate, the Milky Way Fun Size Bars. Portion control was supposed to help keep calories and sugar intake down, but that's not the case. Turns out, a serving of these small bars contains 20 grams of sugar for a tiny 2-bite candy. That's not what people were expecting. Especially knowing the full-size variety only contains 10 more grams, why even bother to go for the fun size if it doesn't even change anything anyway? They also contain hydrogenated palm kernel oil, which is insanely bad for our hearts, the environment, and the survival of orangutans. Not just that, also, the Caramel and Nougat Center is also infamous for annoyingly sticking to your teeth, which can cause cavities. This little candy bar has over 200 calories and 9 grams of fat, 7 of which are saturated. So yeah, maybe try to steer clear of those Milky Ways if you care about your health and your teeth. Number 5. Tamarind Lollipops This Mexican candy is a mixture of sweet, sour, and everything nice. Oh yeah, don't forget the lead that comes with it. As amazing as they might be, they have been banned from the United States market for the same reason as the toxic chew bars were. Only this time, an incident happened that made authorities act fast. A two-year-old Orange County child was found to have very high levels of lead in a routine blood test. It was discovered that the child had eaten the lollipops prior to his visit. The lead poisoning threat came from an imported tamarind candy lollipop labeled as Dulmex brand Bolirindo. Two other cases of lead poisoning have been associated with this candy, so it was eventually banned. We all know how ingesting a lot of lead can damage your brain and the central nervous system, which can cause severe learning disorders and in some cases, even death. The candy wrappers, which some children often lick or chew, contained almost 22,000 parts per million of lead and even the sticks has lead in it. This is one of those times when you can say, you can judge the book by its cover. Number 4. Smarties This particular brand of powdered candy might still be available in some places. It just depends on where you go to school. For instance, if you go to Scarborough Middle School in Maine, then the chances are, you will not come across Smarties. Smarties look innocent enough. They're just cute little candies, though they look and kind of taste like medicine. That's not the real problem here. The problem comes from kids snorting the candy. Yes, you heard that right, snorting. Kids would go to the back of their classrooms, crush up a couple of Smarties, and sniff them up. This behavior is extremely alarming. The kids are trying to recreate the act of, well, the act that adults do. You know what I mean. It also comes with its own health risks, like with any other powder going up your nose, really. These risks include asthma attacks, long-term breathing problems, and even nasal maggots. Okay, the last one is pretty rare, but it can happen. 
but Smarties isn't the only candy kids like to sniff up their noses. The principal of Northern Hills Middle School in Michigan announced in 2011 that any sugar candies such as Smarties and Pixie Sticks would now be prohibited as children tend to smoke them. The kids were getting really inventive. It was better to just ban these candies altogether. Number 3. Sour Patch Kids They say when the food is colorful and bright, it is fresh and nutritious. It's like a rule of nature until food companies started to create fake artificial colored foods like Sour Patch Kids. As much as these sour candies are beloved by many, it doesn't make them any less harmful for you. It shouldn't come as a surprise either, considering the first three ingredients on the list are sugar, invert sugar, and corn syrup. One two-ounce box of Sour Patch Kids contain a stunning 36 grams of sugar. It's not a Halloween candy you would want in your basket. And it's not like the rest of its ingredients are any better. It contains preservatives like citric acid and artificial coloring. Needless to say, they contain no nutritional benefits whatsoever. High fructose corn syrup is added to many refined products as it is cheap to manufacture but it's been linked to diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, and many other diseases. Even though the food and drugs hasn't banned the candy yet, it doesn't mean that it shouldn't. But at the end of the day, even though they're so tasty, Moderation is the key when eating candy with such insanely high sugar levels, or better yet, don't eat them at all. Number 2. Hershey's Take 5 In case you are planning to eat this chocolate bar, listen to what I have to say first and then decide if you still want them. Take 5 is probably one of the most unhealthy chocolate bars on the market. Among the lengthy ingredient list of this bar, you can find partially hydrogenated oil. It is most commonly known as trans fat. Trans fats can upset the balance between good and the bad cholesterol and has been linked to diseases like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Hershey's 5 also packs one heck of a sugar punch since sugar is listed as the first overall ingredient. Take note of the regular size bars which contain a quarter of your daily recommended saturated fats. However, because of consumer backlash, the company started working toward removing every genetically modified product from their chocolates and getting rid of artificial flavors. So while the recovery is on the way, in the meantime, if you want to give your arteries a break, don't take five. And number one on the list is Nestle Magic Ball. If you're a 90s kid, then you definitely know about the Nestle Magic Ball. You can find this big, hollow milk chocolate balls on just about any kid's wish list. Just like the Kinder Surprise which is also banned in the United States, the Magic Balls came with a little surprise toy inside, usually a small plastic figurine such as a Disney or Pokemon character. It was the ultimate cool snack. Every kid loves to get a toy along with their chocolate. However, the Magic product was taken off the shelves in the late 1990s. Why? Well, turns out, in the United States, it's illegal to sell any candy with a toy or a non-nutritive object embedded inside of it. Parents were also concerned that the chocolate toys inside the chocolate shell presented a choking hazard. Nestle insisted that the toy was safe but still ended up withdrawing the product anyway. In 2000, Nestle re-released the candy with a new name. They were now called Wonder Balls and instead of toys, they were filled with candy instead. But it didn't grab the kids' hearts the same with the magic balls. These candies and chocolate bars certainly proves that not everything sold in the market are suitable for our kids and even ourselves. We must always be aware of what we eat and give our little ones. It is always worth it to read labels from packaging or better yet, steer away from the unnecessary sweets and find a better and healthier snack. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like this video. And if you are new to this channel, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified for our future videos. Also, don't forget to leave us a comment below. Bye!